Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about a stock that's in the marijuana sector, the cannabis sector, C-U-R-L-F. It has a market cap of $5.64 billion with cash of $84 million. And I kind of like this stock. It also has a float of approximately $363 million with a revenue of $476 million. So we're going to go ahead and start looking at some details on it. This is the website. You can go to the website and check it out. It has shop. You can learn about it. The willingness uh, rooted in, in good, about all the good things they do for the community, and then about us. And there's a place in here you can look up if you're an investor in the company. What I liked about it when I did that is that operating in 23 states. They have 96 local dispensaries. The cultivation sites of 23, processing sites of 30, registered patients over 200K, and 1.150 active wholesale dispensary accounts. So that's, that's huge. This is one of the biggest wholesalers out there, and I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, another big boost right now is that the House is getting ready to pass a vote to bring it to the Senate. And, you know, they're going to have a little controversy in the Senate for sure, but you never know. They might just went ahead and a couple of them might week out on it and we'll get it passed. I don't think it'll be a full Republican no vote. That's my opinion in a way. And I was checking it out. Here, Massachusetts-based Coral Leaf is the largest U.S. multi-state operator. It operates in 23 states. Has three person company boost about 96 suspensories, 23 cult cultivation facilities, and processing sites 30. I already spoke about that. Uh, third quarter revenue of 2020 184 million, the growth of 195 percent year over year, approximately 55 percent. Record adjusted. EBITDA is 43 million, up 51% from last quarter. Retail revenue increased over 206% to 135 million. And this is what got me right here. The wholesale revenue grew 45 million from 6.5 million. That's a pretty big boost right there, quarter over quarter. And then the gross profit of the cannabis sales was 87 million compared to 42 million in second quarter and I still think they had a loss but of a penny but I'm not quite sure on that but let's go ahead and get straight to the stock I kind of I, I do like the stock um, gentleman in our room called Doobie is the one that alerted it he's our probably our our head honcho when it comes to the cannabis sector I follow him a lot on his trades I followed him in this one here I took the dip right around 975 and sold it right around this ten dollar 1076 area. Got out of it after we had this big breakout and then she went ahead and she's run on up a lot more. So I'm going to be looking at some double highs. But first I want to check out the yearly on this 200. This is my SMA chart. I have the 50 and the 200. We'll make it to where we all can see it. And I'm going to turn this into a year. I'm going to just see what these moving averages are telling me. Had a nice breakout right here. Had a golden cross on the yearly. If you don't know what a golden cross is, it's when the 50 crosses up over the 200 SMA. That's a golden cross. And here you had a little negativity and the stock came down. It couldn't break that 200. It held that 200 pretty well right here, which made it a strong buy. And then again, it touched down here on that 200 made another strong buy so this is why i like to look at this just in case you know i can get some kind of uh, idea of where the stock might be heading this is a slow stochastic which helps me in that benefit for a swing trade so we're going to go ahead and put this resistance level right here we'll go to the 20 day i think that's right here in a way i'll just mark it on there in fact i'm going to leave these on here because there's a reason well i'll clear it up and start fresh. Start drawing some trend lines in here. Try to find some kind of support level. Because I do think it can pull back a little bit. And I just want to be ready for it. I like to play knives. 
We've got a nice little breakout. We've got a resistance right here. I need to magnify this. Right there. And then, oh, a beautiful one right there. A beautiful support right there. Now I'm going to bring this to the 20 day. See if I missed anything. See how nice they line up with everything? Right here is a good spot. This would probably be a solid support area. Right in here, if it pulls back, knives to like 11, 10. Maybe hits this 50 SMA on here. See, she held up strong right here. Still bullish as long as that 50 is above that 200. See, when, that was a perfect time to get in this trade. Bounce it on up, pulled back, pre-market for some reason. Bounced right up at open. So it's pretty bullish. This stock is right now, I'm telling you. I'm going to go ahead and draw this chamber in right in here for a low support, for a strong buy. I've been charting these up for about 16 years. So, you know, the more you do, the better you get, right? And then we got another support right in here. I'd like to see this one hold. Why? I'll show you. Because we had some resistance levels right in here. We had a resistance right there. And we had a resistance right there. We had a quad triple top, but I'm not going to count this in as a, as, a, as a top. I will count these three. So that was a triple top. Now this can pull back to that triple top support level of 1168 for a strong buy. I might take my first position there, and if it dips on down more, I'll wait until I get to this here channel right in here and add more. But this is C-U-R-L-F, -E resistance to break is going to be definitely that 1235 and I'm going to take this like up in 50% increments because we're at all-time highs right now. C-U-R-L-F. Keep a good eye on it. Low support down here at 1110 to 1124 if it decides to knife. That first support right here at 1168 with a triple top breakout. That's how I'm going to look at it. I probably won't jump in the trade until it hit, if it pulls starts to pull back and I see some red, I'm going to be watching this stock. I'm not going to chase it. I'm going to let it come to me. 1168, we're still in a spe speculative trade, but I mean there's nothing speculative about how this industry is growing either. It's definitely growing. And it's definitely got I think on the tug of war win, it's definitely on the side of winning the tug of war. I'm surprised, you know, I thought this day would never come in my lifetime, but it did, and it's happened pretty fast. So that's C-U-R-L-F. Keep a good eye on it. It has a good market cap. It has a real good in sales increase. I really like this company. I want to see it pull back to 1168. That's only a 60 cent drop. I think it can do it. If not, I'll get down in here at this level right down here at 1110 to 11.24 and run it up to these resistance levels. And that's how I'm going to trade C-U-R-L-F. I love stocks. Always remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Ring that bell. If you like this channel, make some comments down below if you have any more information about this company or if you have some other tickers you want me to look at and do future videos on. And always remember, I love stock. And I want to remind you of one more thing. We do have some links over here to our Twitter. If you want to hit that, we gain some more followers again. We'll just keep adding them day by day. That's what we want to do. And also, we have our Stock Twits accounts. Mine in Vegas is on here. If you have a Stock Twits, hit that follow button. We're also posting alerts in here all the time. I got CRM in here for reversal. As you see, the ascending triangle, getting ready to move back up. Also post ideas on how I take trades. You know, I'm spotting reversals, and I give the uh, people ideas on, on to get in. I usually try to catch them before anybody else does. For example, this is, was one on the double bottom. I said this has a higher low. Get ready for the breakout. And I run them up to these moving averages. I usually stick to that 200 EMA. So every video is always a lesson. That's why I like for people to subscribe and learn from your BA. Nice, nice play on Boeing. That pullback, called that pullback, played that bounce. And then I put my videos in here too, so you can always keep updated on that. So this is I Love Stocks.
Let me pull it back to our main website. And let's have a great week. And I'm going to post a couple more videos out here today and just enjoy.